this is my target target db okay so let me connect to the schema emp5 right so this was the table okay let me make okay is my screen uh, visible Yes. Uh, properly uh, the font and all yes okay great thank you so this is my source so what I wanted to show you for yesterday's like I set up the extract pump uh, sorry the extract and the replicate but one major thing I told you that I had missed it right it was the uh, logging Am I correct? Yeah. Yeah. So thing is, but even even if the supplemental logging was not enabled, still we were able to see the data, uh, right? Right or wrong? Hello. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying, even if. Uh, the supplemental logging was not enabled we were still able to see the data C correct yeah correct yes. just a second I am having a call just here Yeah, hi, sorry. Okay, this is my target, and there is a replicate here. Yeah, this one. Okay, so this is running, and this extract is also running here. Okay, it's not running. Let me see what is the error. If anyone is not uh, speaking, can you please mute, please? Oh, sorry, I was speaking on mute. Okay. Am I audible now? 
Hello? Yes, yes. Yeah, sorry for that. I spoke the whole thing and but then I realized it was mute. Anyways, I want to ask you one thing. Everyone actually. Thing is, for example, if you need to, if the client comes with a requirement to set up OGG for a new software for an existing table or a new one. So, if you set up the extract pump and replicate, do we need to set up the for supplemental for logging before every, I mean, all these things? I'm asking, do we need to enable the for supplemental for logging or not? Yes, we have to enable supplemental. Yeah, but yesterday, as you saw, it was still perfectly hitting, right? Any yeah. idea why? No. Okay. I'll show, show, show you that. Again, first thing, uh, what I am doing, I have not enabled the for supplemental logging here. All right. And we have around 44 rows here and the target around 2 rows here. So let me insert another row. So this row is inserted. So this row will be replicated to the target also, even though supplemental logging is not enabled. Any idea why, everyone? See here, this row got yeah, inserted also. Well, like, I'm sure you might have read in all the, the documents that the logging has to be enabled. But why not now? Why it is allowing the insert then? Anyone? Might be on, might be on database level supplemental logging. Well, that, yeah, that, that is true for all the case. But okay. at the object level, I mean, I think if you read the documentation, it is expected that at the table level also, we need to have it. So why? Any, any idea? Anyone else? Okay, fine. So... So now we tried for insert, right? So let us, so let me try for update. Update EMP5 set. Mm. Let me change the job name. Job equal to resident alt analyst where EMP number equal to this whole latest record. Okay. And I'm committing it here. So let's see what will happen at the source side. Did my extract caught? Yes, it did caught one update, right? Now, let's see what happens to my replicate here. This is failing. Anybody understood why it failed now here?
Anybody understood? This was, I think I, I told this in the very first class of the supplemental loop for logging. So this is what I'm trying to show you in practical. Just say yes or no, it's okay, it's fine. No, didn't get it. Okay, all right, all right, I'll explain. Pascal, you? Tivia? Let me see if I have the document here. Uh, basic architecture. Supplemental logging. I need to check if I have. Okay, I did not save that file. Okay, I'll have to say it again then, I suppose. Okay, again I will show you from scratch. Okay, so I hope this time it will be clear. Uh, I want your help here. I want to show you, like in Data Guard, how things go. I think you know that. An active Data Guard. You have a source here, and you have a target here, all right? And it, it goes from source to target. Oh, OK. I, I should term it as primary and standby, sorry. Primary. Standby, okay. Is it okay? Be clear now. Here, what happens as we all know, there's a block by block copy right from the primary and standby. True, yes. Okay, now I'll show you what happens. Okay, first, let me another doubt I have here. Suppose if I have a row one here, okay. And I hope you know every row has a row ID in Oracle. Row ID, for example, XX ID, something like, like that, okay? Row 2, something like, uh, you know, some uh, alpha numeric. Now, tell me one thing. Now, since this row is, is in the primary, it will be replicated to target. Now, Will this row one in the standby have the same row ID? Will it be this way in standby also? Uh, yes or no? Yes. Why no? And if I yes, why? Yeah, please. Anyone else? What they can even say in the chat, I mean like, uh, will it be same or no? Okay, Babu is saying no, others? Okay, again I'm saying, in active data guard, there's a block by block copy right so everything is say same at the uh, data file or the, I mean like the block wise everything is same right so what that is why the row IDs will be same for both the primary and the standby is it okay clear in data guard yeah active data guard yeah clear right okay thank you now, another thing I want to show why, like how it is done, okay? So for example, now if you have a row one year and the same row one year, now if I update that row, how will Oracle exactly find that particular row one in the standby? How will it find that? So for example, if you are firing any update statement, 
name like my example update emp5 set <coughs> uh, let's say the location equal to pune where employee number equal to 100 okay so for example i commit this all right so for any row which is uh, like any tms and all so what we so in we redo and archive what we will normally have so, uh, for example the name of the table so here it will be mp5 so the pre image of uh, emp uh, pre image of the co column loc for example it was mumbai the pre and post image so the post is like uh, is Pune and the commit flag right is it committed or not so here it will be yes and uh, of course the type of operation like um, what operation so suppose so you for update okay so for example we will have this and at the end you'll have row ID also of that row that is like a A X S X A S S M okay that way so kind of this row ID is used as a where clause like to filter it out so when this so when I am uh, when we are firing any update all this basic info are stored in the Puridu and archives right but there are much more but but for our case these are enough now all right the thing is when this redo and archive are shipped to the standby so what happens here how will now I have updated row one here now how will the Oracle identify the exact row which it has to update in the standby so that will be done with the help of row ID since the row ID is same on both the primary and the standby. Is it okay, clear? Yeah. Everyone else? Yes, it's clear. All right, great. Now, on the same line, what will happen in in a data guard? Everyone else, if any doubt, please stop me. So, in Golden Gate, this is source. I'm terming this as target. Okay. Golden Gate here. All right. Okay, I'm not drawing the extract and pump. I want to make it the diagram a bit uh, simple. Again, the same thing I'm doing here. I have these two rows here. Okay, row one here. Now, in Golden Gate, both this uh, source and target, they are read write, right? Read right, and they are not uh, physically same, right? I mean, well, there is no block by block co co copy as it is there in the data guard. This is also read right, and here it was the primary was read right, and this was read only, right? So tell me one thing now this row okay suppose this is an insert a statement here for example the row one first I need to insert the row one right so for example th this is a way insert into EMP5 values okay some values okay now if I fire this now this insert is here so it is inserted 
in this row side and this row row one is having this row ID now here. Now if I fire the same insert in the target also, tell me one thing, will this row ID be same for this row? Yes or no? No. No. Okay. Anyone else? Oh yes, no. Anyone? I think in no, golden no. it, it uh, uh data based on primary key. Not Forget the... about uh, golden gate. I'm saying I'm I'm having this insert statement. I'm manually firing in tar target. Uh, for now, think that it is not here. Golden gate is not there. For now, I, I am saying I am manually inserting it in the target. So will the row ID be same or a different one? Different. 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 Right. Thank you. The thing is, so, yeah. So that is correct. So the borrow ID will not be same. So let me give a different row ID. Row one. Suppose I start with Z. Okay, something like that. So as you can see here, the row IDs are not same here. All right. Now, in the next statement, I am firing an update same as here in our pre previous example. So I fired an update on the same row row one. Okay. So in that way, even the redo entries uh, will be same, right? What it will store? the DML operation type, table name, you know, and the pre-image, post-image of the column which is changed and the flag if it is committed on or not and the row ID here. Now, tell me one thing. If in golden gate, you know, if it takes this entry and it tries to go here, will it be able to find the exact row which it has to update? No. No, right? I hope everyone agrees here. Yeah. Right. So now here is the thing. We are having the supplemental blogging here. This is the importance of this blogging for any replication tool. It's not only with Golden Gate. Take any other tool also. We would require this. So what will happen here, this thing will also log the primary key or the key calls. It's up to us. So by default, it will be the primary key. Or, or, or if there is no primary key, then it will log all the columns. So here, here the, as a prior clause, EMPNO will act here. The thing is, apart from this row ID, which is not uh, valid here, Golden Gate will search the record in the target based on the value of the primary key. So that is what we say is supplemental logging is an additional, uh, I mean, like it will have the reduce and all log additional columns or the key calls is it okay clear yes everyone else so now i will show the practical now now in our case what happened here it's like insert was working fine right now why it was uh, working fine because when you do an insert 
in redo and archive what is so links for an insert operation there is no pre image right and if you are inserting it has to store everything right it will store all the columns right for an insert so thing is like so, so suppose there are five co columns here so employee number something location salary commission etc right so this entry so what happens is like in insert it is actually logging all of the uh, columns by uh, default right and so insert can be easily replicated to the target even if the supplemental logging is not enabled but if you see here when I fired an update statement the replicate just failed why it failed because same case here it was having only the row ID and not the primary key here am I um, I mean is it okay fine even in error also it it will just show a mapping error uh, for nothing else is it okay clear yes Shri Kham. okay thank you sir now I'll do one thing I will enable the logging now and let's see what, what happens EBEXT file DB logging. So by info trans data, where you can check if the table is having the logging or not. So this is if you can read it, the logging of the supplemental redo log data is disabled for the tables for Scott.emp. So let me add it. Scott.emp5. So now, if you see logging of the supplemental redo data enabled, tran log for uh, scheduling column has been added and the SNR. So this standard message. Again, if you do the info, you will see it as enabled and on which column that is EMP and all because that is the primary key I suppose right yeah it is correct I had added for yesterday now if I do an update here again so this time for the same row I'll set this thing as Analyst new and with the same row, okay. Okay, value too large. Sorry, I'll say analyst two. All right, so now the issue is like I'll have ah, okay. Wait one second, let me show you the stats also. So I think they, uh, they should be three updates now. Sorry. Where is the extract name here? <coughs> okay, uh, pun update. Oh, I think we had, okay, it is 11 o'clock. So, and I did hourly. If I did total, I will be able to see all these operations. So, see here. Since I did hourly, it, it tried to find the data from the latest hour so that is why it was trying to find from 11 actually and not earlier one anyway so we have got the update here earlier but they were only one now it is two now thing is for the replicate it will still not work because it has got a, a 
a bad record now. Okay, so what I can do is I can try to skip trans. Okay, I will do one thing instead. Okay, I didn't wanted to show you this now, but uh, it's okay. The log dump, I thought I will show you in a separate class, but yes, uh, you can do this to investigate also. Detail data, user token detail. Okay, so here is the per record. Okay, if you can see. The pre image, it was. I, what did we do here? It was an analyst. Okay, so it was a salesman earlier and analyst now. So the pre and post image, if you can see here. So everything is there here. All right, now I don't want this RBA because it failed here, right? So I will try to find the next record now I'll explain you afterwards even if you're not understanding I mean it is okay fine so with this RBA I will try to set now okay uh, basically what I'm trying I mean trying to do is that the first update this update I want the replicate to skip now because the logging was not Available, so it would. So this super replicate will not be able to handle this per record itself. So manually, I am moving the per replicate to read the next record. So in our case, it is this one. Okay. So alter next sequence now. The sequence number. And ext rba is this one. Let me see if it is not working or not. Again, it failed. What error? Okay, I think it is still in that. I mean per record only. So let me again do a log dump. Analyst two. This is the one I'm looking for. Can we just pause it? Here. So this has to be the RBA. But why did it fail here? Mm -hmm. I think I missed something here. I added, I think I updated before adding the logging, I suppose. Post forward. Anything after this? No. So let me try again, or else I will create a new trail itself. Okay. Two nine eight two. Anyways, well, let's do one thing. Where is the extract? Yeah. I will stop this, and I will again ensure the supplemental loop logging is there. Great. Again, I will do this update. Okay. Now 
now I will make it right to the new trail itself. It will save me the pain of you know it of using the log dump to find the exact RBA. I'll explain you all these things afterwards. So since it's a test environment, I can do all the, these things actually. Let me see if a new trail has been generated or not. Okay, star. Okay, so it was one earlier. I have this second one already here. And well, let me see the stats here. Great one update is caught here. I'll do one thing. I'll move my per applicate to read from the new trail itself because instead of wasting time in investigating in the log dump, we can do this way. So CXTRBA zero. So I'm setting my per applicate from the new trail sequence that is two. Okay, now I understand the issue. There are no indexes in the target. Oh my bad. All the table in P5 add primary key. MP, you know. I think it should work fine now. See here, analyst two. Ah. So, but that is the way you have to, you know, troubleshoot. Ah, okay, so here is like the the primary key was not there for the target, so it was not able to handle it. Is it okay? Clear? We understood. So there are two th things we have to be careful. It's like both. Source and target should have prior P case, okay? The same ones, please. Or even if you don't have the same one, both there are ways to have, I mean, handle it. But uh, for now, take it as same, all right? Then supplemental logging. Logging on source table before starting your golden gate. Is it okay, clear? Uh, I mean, uh, these two, I hope you understood actually. In case of any doubt, I will show it again then. Uh, yes, understood. Uh, what if uh, it doesn't have the primary key on the both end? Okay, so let's try with that also then. So let me remove the primary key from here. Alter table, amplify, drop primary key. I hope that is the correct syntax. Yeah. Same goes for the target also. Okay. So now primary key is not there. All right. And also remember any changes you are doing to the structure of the table in terms yeah. of indexes or the co columns, right? So mm -hmm. again, uh, delete and add the tran data. Because well, there was an issue I faced earlier. I'll explain that. thing is okay. like, uh, okay. It was like application team, they requested us to stop the, all the, I mean, extract pump and the per applicate and after that they did some uh, say they I think they wanted to add a column in between so for that they dropped the 
original one, they created a fresh one, they loaded data from old to new and all. So the thing is, the table name at the end, it was same. But since the t t t table was dropped and, uh, you know, created back again, the next time when we started the extract, it was not able to capture everything. Uh, we raised a bug with Oracle and all, but uh, I mean, I, I mean, like, uh, as per the documents, it says that it will not have any issues. But we face that issue, so what we have done, like as a thumb rule, anytime when you're doing any alter on the table and all, all right, like, or, or for example, not, or, or, I mean, suppose like you are dropping anything, actually, sorry, if you are dropping anything on the table, it is safer way, please uh, delete and add the tran data okay because unnecessary I mean, we face that issue so that's by like as per the experience I'm saying that anyways I will delete the tran data now and when the table is not having any primary key or any unique key it will add logging to all the columns See here, it, it's also giving a warning. No unique keys identified for, for the table, EMP5. All viable columns will be used to represent the key, but it may not guarantee the uniqueness. Key calls um, may, may be used. So with this, uh, we can use in the param file of the hexagonal. So now the issue here is like, it here if you read it all viable co columns so for example if your table is having around 30 columns okay and even if one column is updated all 30 co co columns will be stored in the redo entries for every row change so that is the drawback but yes I mean it's up to your requirement okay at the end if you do an info again if you see it has locked all the co columns um, department EMP and EMP everything I think how many are there one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So all these nine columns have been captured actually. Right? So for now, let me check the status of the extract. Is it up or not? Okay, it is up. What about my replicate? That is also up. Again, for the safety side, you know, to avoid the confusions, I will stop this extract. Now, let me do some DML operations. First, I'll again do an insert and one second. Suppose nine is something to two. Suppose. I'll keep everything else same. Okay, I want to ask you, will this insert go or uh, will it fail? It will go. Okay, great. still in the starting stage okay now it is running so let me see if any new trails came here 
yeah the third trail came here i will stop my replicate and set it to that It has updated also. So eight nine eight seven, right? Let me see if the row came here or not. So see, it came right. Eight nine eight seven. Now, as uh, Sayed asked, like, uh, what if we do an update here? Now, since the both the source and target are not having the primary keys, yes, so. Insert worked. So, what about the update now? Uh, for example, update. I'll change the set job equal to new test array okay? or something like that. Where EMP number. Okay. This is the source. Now just check the stats first. Did it caught the update? So yes, it caught the update here. Now let's see about your so per applicate also caught the update. I think. See here, update is caught. So it means that it has been per applicated. See a new test. So that's what I, I'm saying. Like, as a thumb rule, please have the supplemental logging enabled because insert will go through, but the uh, updates will fail. All right. And for example, in real time, I mean, if you need to do the initial load of a very big t table, okay. So yeah, suppose. Export is taking an hour. SCP, I mean, another hour and suppose uh, import is also taking around an hour. So, for example, why I am saying this because uh, in I mean, in past, like uh, I, I, I have seen this. In my team, uh, for example, if, if you need to do for application for a new table, okay, and which is big in size, okay, for example, 100 GB, uh, for example, export is taking an hour, import uh, SCP another one hour, for example, import another one hour, so total three hours here, right? And after you do everything and then you realize that you have not enabled these i mean and you have not enabled the supplemental blogging here so wow so what will happen you have you will have to redo everything so that's what i'm saying always always please ensure that the blogging has been enabled before we you plan to start the OGG else it will be an embarrassment and then we'll again have to start everything right from the scratch time. is it okay clear now everyone yeah. okay thank you Babu yeah. Yeah. one thing is yeah. uh, from one uh, Oracle to Oracle, uh, you said that we don't need to create a DDL, right? But why did we create in a target the DDL? What DDL? The uh, the structure table structure. I did not understand your thing. In target, you have created a table, right? Yeah. Yeah. But we don't need to do that, right? Why? Then where will it uh, for replicate then? 
so you mean to say the DDL, DDLs will not be replicated from the source and source to target? Is it correct, Sri? Okay, you are uh, uh, okay. So you are uh, asking for the TDLs, right? So yeah, right now it will not be no because I have not enabled it. If I enabled it, it is fine. But right now I have not. Okay. So oh, yeah, that's what my question. Enabled on, so this replication process we enable for only for DML, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Now it is yes, correct. Oh, that way to check that three. So what operations we allowed and uh, we have to see the parameter file of uh, extract. Yeah, right. So if you open this, mm -hmm. if the TDL was enabled, you will have the parameter like uh, TDL include and all, right? So right now oh. I have not even enabled it. Okay, that's the reason. Okay, okay. I think yeah. that's what this. Got it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And also, okay. uh, I mean, also the TDL, it will work only if both the source and target are Oracle. For okay, others, thing is, it will not. Yeah. Okay. And let's say we have a requirement for the um, uh, complete database. There will be thousands of tables, right? So uh, okay. how we will handle that the enabling supplemental logging for each table or how it's going to work? Okay, if it, then at that case you can enable at the schema. Ideally, even for the hundred tables, we add a script in the obey file and we run as a whole. So when you're saying for the whole database because I have seen this thing actually like instead of so you mean that you will initialize everything with the data card and then for you will stop and start the OGG yeah sorry I didn't get that okay now you I mean see the thing is we you asked like uh, in case of replicating the whole database, right? Yes. Now, when you're saying we're replicating the whole database, I am asking, how are you doing the initial load here? Well, normally, yes. what we do, uh, we have an, like, suppose, source, right? We will have an active data guard running, okay? And then, at one point we will break this ADG because okay. wo, wo you can't do export and import for the whole uh, database hai na? Mm -hmm. but that will not be a feasible one so there are two things when you're saying the whole one either what you mean by a lot of tables or by whole means will you you actually mean whole whole from here to here or below I mean how is it yeah from when source say, to target there is yeah from source to target no no when you're saying whole is it all the schemas everything or it is just few I mean or is it like few schemas, few big ones? It's all database it? we're talking about. Ah, ah, so then, okay, so then how we do one normally? The first thing before you do the supplemental logging, the first headache is how will you initialize or how will you do the initial load? So I, I hope that you will not plan for the export and import, right? So what you will do, you need to set up ADG from source to target, all right? For well, this particular a whole different use case here. So this active data guard will do the work of initial load actually. Because at one point where you want the data to be same, right? 
and then you will break ADG and enable Golden Gate. Now before this, either and so you will have to enable supplemental logging at schema level actually because practically enabling it for every table is not uh, that feasible and you might have some issues also is is this okay clear so this is not recommended to enable at schema level i mean it's my personal experience but if you have this use case of the whole database both then you i don't think you have a choice here first thing i i mean i don't understand why oh, i mean a client asks for the whole one because if you want if if you are expecting the whole database then adg is the best option mm -hmm. Oh, but uh, even uh, though uh, recently in our yeah? environment they have migrated from 11g to 12c okay that's how they they did this okay fine so here it is so schema level like if you read the documents and all even oracle would they say and they like uh, they are uh, very confident that it works well so this i faced in 12.1 or uh, 2 i think so i think in the well, in the later versions it would have been solved but yes because in my case i mean what we do like what uh, i mean i have seen we have some particular set, i mean i would say set of schemas okay chms and we replicate the them only so we so the thing is my at the like uh, for every schema i'll have max around 30 to 80 tables okay so here it is easy for me to enable and also i mean say you know keep a track of the for logging at the table for level logging at the table level but if you are asking me for the whole database it won't be possible okay so at that case even I will go for the schema level okay it's okay clear don't I will paste in the chat yeah that's fine Any other one? Like anyone else? Any other doubt? Anyone? I wanted to start this, the... Uh, yeah. This uh, supplement logging can be enabled from database level also, right? Correct, uh, correct, 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 yes. Actually, so, uh, thing is like uh, it is the same thing. Actually, when you're doing the info, sorry, the add tran, I mean this one. Where is that? Yeah, here. So when we are doing add tran data, it is the same thing. Like from the uh, database, uh, I think we do some alter add log groups and all so it's the same thing only thing is like uh, this came from well, i think it was uh, prior to well, 11g we had only one uh, i mean option to add from the database but after that we have this one additional way so both are same only because at the end it is going to if I show you, it will update the same table. 
DBA log groups. Here it is. Okay. Well, let me show you for the table only, where table name EMP5. Here it is. So yes, at the end, both are the same only. But this is easy for us actually. So we do this. Okay, thanks. Yeah, welcome. I think oh, Shri, if you want, uh, yeah. If we enable uh, a replication for DDL operations from source to target, mm -hmm. I think every time uh, when DDL was performed on the source side, uh, we have seen you used to add, delete, and add the the trend data. So I think it's yeah. manual. Manual intervention is required for uh, all the DDL operations. The GZ. Yes, yes, right away. Yes, yes, yes. See, but right now, uh, DDL is not enabled, right? Okay, yeah. that's an important thing. Good. Now, nice that you asked. So, uh, for example, if DDL for application is not enabled, okay? Now there are two cases. So first one is if extract and for replicate are up, and you perform any DDL, they will fail actually. So but that is why I am every time trying to stop also. Even I did the drop uh, primary key, I stopped the extract. Uh, but for the tran data it is okay fine but when I'm saying DDL it means DDL on the table itself okay so thing is like in my case and actually the thing is like whoa, there are few cases where they don't enable the uh, no, DDL because why if a wrong statement is fired at the source side, it can spoil the whole thing actually. So I have seen few clients who don't enable the TDL itself. So in that case, manually, you will have to stop the processes every time if you need to do a TDL, like anything like drop or any add and all. If you want to even add a column, you will have to drop the, sorry, stop the extract pump and the per applicates. Okay, okay. I, no, I, I mean, I, I, I mean uh, in, in, uh, in real time environment, uh, the DTL hmm. enabled or uh, will not be? It is based on the client because as per my experience, few of the clients had and few it did not have and I I have also seen a uh, experience where you know okay this I should not be saying but I'll say in a short way thing is wo, we had a script actually to clean up the old partitions okay okay and the architecture was like uh, peer to peer okay, okay? It was like a peer to peer, all right. And uh, the thing is, we had this script which was over running well for I think 20 years, all right. It was uh, truncating some partitions based on some where clause. Now, at that particular year, due to the data change, you know, the script. Uh, deleted the active weapons okay so it deleted the active one at suppose site a and that got propagated to b c everywhere and only after few days when app team complained to us we understood that 
it has been a big big uh, mess and and so then what we did we requested for a tape backup we restored the backup in a third server and then from there we exported that partition and you know imported here so that is what i feel a bit risky with uh, tdl but yes at the end it's on your you know client how they i mean expect so a wrong statement can spoil the whole thing because it will not only be suppose if you drop any i mean if you drop any column in your primary or in your source and if tdl is not enabled still we you have the detail you know still you have that in your target or okay. a right but if you if the tdl is enabled here so if it is dropped from here it will be dropped from here also so you are so you'll have to take from the backup only so for well, that is a thing so it's, it's so this is all on your client for few clients i have i have seen that they still you i mean they you use it and for some they will not so all these things have to be made c- c- clear you know put to them like are you able to take this risk and all because it's a huge one actually if you are fine if you are not okay fine so that that way it is anyone is any other thought out actually i thought to take the check i mean uh, checkpoint class today but i think that will take some time if i start now so based on this uh, supplemental bull hugging any more doubts i'm here Anyone still just say oh, yes no it's okay No doubt sir Thank you. Um, thank you thank you yeah. I'll be pasting this also you can just uh, copy it if you want So th- I mean the thumb rule here is always always have the blogging enabled uh, before you co- co- configure the extract and all if you don't again we will have to start the same thing right from scratch or you will miss the data here okay then okay guys i am uh, done now all right Okay. still if you have any doubts so let me know okay or or you can uh... this conference will now be